Hi there, so you've recently purchased the Novation Launchpad Mini and you want to start making music. I'm going to take you through the setup process so you can get started straight away. So watch this whole video and we're confident you won't need any further help. First let's have a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box you have the Launchpad Mini, you have a packet with instructions and a stop card, and you have the USB cable. This stop card shows you where to register the product and gives you your bundle code. First I'm going to check that I've got the latest version of Ableton installed. So go to ableton.com and log into your account or create an account. And just make sure that you've downloaded the latest version of Suite 8. Or you can try Ableton Live 9 for free. Now we need to download the drivers for the Launchpad Mini. Go to www.novationmusic.com Click on Support, select Download and select the Launchpad Mini. Install the .dmg file if you're using a Mac or the .exe file if you're using a PC. Now we need to connect the Launchpad Mini to our computer. Always ensure you're using the USB cable that comes inside the box. Using longer USB cables or using USB hubs could result in dropouts. So now in Live we need to configure the Launchpad Mini. Click on Live and click on Preferences and select MIDI Sync. In the Control Surface drop-down select Launchpad and in the Input and Output field select Launchpad Mini. You're now set up and ready to go. So here in a demo session in Ableton Live if I press 5, I'm in session view, where I can scroll up and down, left and right, and trigger clips and scenes. By using the lettered buttons, you can trigger rows of clips. To stop all clips, press a button which has no clips in that row. Button 6 is user 1 mode, where you can play synths. And button 7 is user 2 mode, where you can map your own assignments. Click on MIDI. Then click on a parameter, press and hold any pad on the furthest left and then press the pad horizontally opposite. This will now enable you to slide your fingers between the pads and turn the parameter in increments. Button 8 is mixer mode, where you can switch channels on and off or solo channels. Pressing A allows you to adjust the volumes. Pressing B allows you to adjust the pans. Button C controls the first sends. And D controls the second sends. So there you have it. So now you should be set up and ready to go. If you do experience any further problems, please contact our support team. Thanks for watching.